Hey guys, Jesse Laval, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Topaz Labs and the software that they make. I actually saw them on Facebook ads, believe it or not, and I don't usually ever buy anything off Facebook, but I for some reason decided to give it a swing and I'm really glad that I did. I ended up getting the Denoise AI software first. Later on, I was so happy with the Denoise software, I ended up getting the Sharpen AI software as well. And those two softwares put together have really made a big difference, especially when it comes to my bird photography or any really kind of action photography that I do. I really was kind of relying on my RP because it just produced so much better quality pictures in terms of noise when I would get forced to a higher ISO, like when I shoot with a high shutter speed with my telephoto lenses. And I really just kind of wasn't using my M50 anymore because of that. Now I've gone back to using my M50, so I'm getting all those advantages of having all of that 10 frames per second with it, but I also don't have to worry about the noise anymore because that AI software is just taking care of it for me in one quick step, really easy to do, don't have to think about it, removes the noise, and doesn't really destroy any of the detail of my picture that I've noticed. I've gotten awesome results. I'm going to kind of put them up as, long as I go through this episode, but... I'm going to share with you guys how easy it is to use this software. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to pull you right into my PC and we're going to walk right through how you use this software plugged into Photoshop. Okay guys, so real quick here, I'm going to show you how to use the Topaz software and editing a CR3 or a RAW file. Um, using Adobe Photoshop. So first thing we're gonna do is just open Photoshop. I'm gonna open the folder or the uh, file. And here we go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is apply our lens correction. So I always do that first because that option goes away after I do what I'm about to do next, which is hit open image. And that's going to open it into actual Photoshop because we were just in camera raw. So now that we're in actual Photoshop, we're going to go to filter, come down to Topaz Labs. This is going to be there after you've installed Topaz because it's just a plug into Photoshop. So we're going to denoise first, pull it open, pull the window over to the robin so we can see the bird. And already we can see that the noise is being removed by it. So that actually looks okay. I'm going to put recover detail to 10, sharpen to 10, leave remove noise at 15. We're going to let it generate that preview here, and we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, we can see that it's removed that noise. I mean, look at it right in that feather. We do have maybe a little bit of loss of detail here but it's minor. And we're gonna bring it back with sharpening, so... I mean, we can maybe back off the reduction down to 12. And that's where you're basically at, is you're kind of playing with your settings. You don't want to lose too much detail. But this really simplifies the process quite a bit, speeds it up, and we see that that looks really good. I mean, look at how much noise is being removed. And grain. So we're just gonna hit apply. And now what that's going to do is that's going to bring us back to the uh, CR3 file back into Photoshop. So this will take a little bit of time depending on your computer. Um, this one's running a i7 with 32 gigs of RAM. So this one's pretty quick about it, but this still takes some time. So I'm going to speed us up here real quick and then uh, just bring us back into Photoshop. Okay, so we're back into Photoshop. So next step is going to be to go to Filter. Topaz Labs, and we're going to go to Topaz Sharpen. And this is where we're going to apply the sharpening filter, so we're going to again come up to the bird. And as you see, this is presenting quite a bit of noise here. Now what I've found is that the suppress noise when I'm on the sharpening tab, now this software has three different types of uh, sharpening that you can use. You can use regular sharpening, stabilize, or focus. So what I'm going to do here, since we're using sharpen now, is I'm going to just bring this down to zero. And I've found that that tends to produce a little better. You can see that there's still a little bit of like kind of noise um, being presented in there, so I might bring this down to like 25 and maybe make it not so. We're going from 50 to 25. 
And now we can see that it's starting to sharpen up. If you see, if you look kind of like at the eye. That we have sharpened that image a bit. So we're just going to apply that. And again, this is going to do the same thing. Um, it's going to process, takes time depending on your computer. Um, this one's a bit faster than the denoising software, so you shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Again, this is just going to bring us right back to that raw file in Photoshop when it's finished. So um, as soon as this is done, which it will be in a second, we're going to pop back into Photoshop. And boom, we're back into Photoshop. So now we can start to edit it like it's a raw again. So filter, camera raw filter, and we're back into our uh, raw camera raw again. So now we can start to uh, do some stuff to it. Actually, what we're going to do is go back, and I'm going to crop in here. So we're back into Photoshop again. Let's crop in on this guy. And again, I can kind of do a pretty aggressive crop now that I've um, treated it with this denoising software because it really just seems to make a big difference. So we're in here, pretty aggressive crop, filter, camera raw filter, bring us back into the raw filter here. And what we're gonna do is now maybe pull the shadows up. And again, we can kind of be a little more aggressive about it than normal because we've denoised it. So some of that noise that would have been introduced won't be there. We're gonna pull the highlights down just a tad, add the whites up, whites down, contrast. And I'm actually going to bring it to auto white balance, and then we'll bring the color back into the robin here. And there we go. And that's how you use the Topaz software, guys. So this basically gives you your end result, and then all you have to do is go to file and save your file. But that's how quick the Topaz software will allow you to A, denoise your picture, and then B, sharpen your picture. Okay guys, and I hope this helped you out a little bit. If it did, please go below, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.